Welcome to Turquoise Skies uh, Saturday uh, Jewelry Show. Uh, we've got a lot of great pieces for you today. I don't have anything out. It's uh, We have a whole bucket of jewelry to go through. It's going to take a little while. Uh, we're featuring Alvin Monte, uh, Navajo Silversmith, and Dina Platero. So, uh, great show today. Please stay tuned. We'll be right with you. All right, all right. Welcome back. Hey, I'm Matthew James here at Turquoise Skies. Thanks for joining me today. Um, how is everybody today? Hey, this shirt's a little busy, isn't it, Diego? We've got myself. <laughs> Diego's on camera. I wore this shirt, but what do you think? You think this is... Maybe it's too busy for a jewelry show. I like to wear plain colors because it uh, doesn't clash with the jewelry, but... Hi, Gusta. Hi, Denise. Mariana, good to see you. Hello, everyone. Hello, Linda. Hello, Kathleen. We're just talking about my shirt. I think it's a little too busy. What do you think? It's going to clash a little bit with some of these pieces. I'm sure you saw this first piece. Um, super awesome. Just a preview of what we have to come. Hi, Ray. Hey, Linda, Jaren, Paula. Good to see you. We've got a we've got a fantastic artist to show today. I don't have the pieces out yet. It's all in in bags. So it's just you, me, and a bucket of jewelry. Um, we've got a lot to go through, and uh, we're going to discover these together. So uh, the featured artist today is Alvin Monty. Uh, please feel free to look him up on Google. He's a very well-known artist, uh, known for his precision silversmithing, Navajo. Uh, and then we also have uh, Dina Platero, um, which is his girlfriend, and she's also a silversmith. She does some great Great work, you'll see the difference in their style. Um, and I'm just gonna open this, open these bags up one by one and we're gonna discover what's going on together. So this will be kind of fun. Um, there's a lot, there's a lot to get through, but let's show off this first piece to give us a preview of who Alvin Monty is. So, wow, check this out, it's huge. I mean, look, look at that thing. Oh my gosh, this is this this is something that belongs in a museum. I don't even know where to start. He's got so much going on. So he's got this what we call anti-synclastic or anti-clastic cuff, which is uh, it's a bowing of a cuff, but it bows the opposite way that we're used to seeing uh, cuffs. Um, and He's done an incredible amount of filing and stamping, um, creating these line textures. And uh, on the inside. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can see on the inside all the stamp work that he's done on there. This centerpiece here, if you can tell, it's actually on its own chain and it's free um, from the rest of the piece. So these are not soldered on, it's actually held on um, like a chain bracelet on top, wow. Um, high quality turquoise, high quality coral. He's got a beautiful, fantastic, I don't even know the word, I'm just, I'm just throwing adjectives out there. <laughs> he's got, he's kind of got a clash here of traditional and contemporary. It's obviously contemporary, but a lot of the techniques that he was doing and the style of it um, is obviously pulled from um, very traditional Navajo silversmithing base. He's just kind of taken to the next level. I don't even know what to call this. Um, he's calling it the Turquoise Royal Beauty and Coral Bracelet. What is its size? Let's, let's find out. All right, so we've got a measurement of the face here. It's about an inch and a half uh, wide, 
we're looking at a, it's probably around a six and a half because it fits me pretty good. Pretty tight gap. Uh, five and a half with a one and a eighth inch gap. So we're looking at six and a half to six and five eighths. Wowzers is right. Hello, hello everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Who is it, Susan, you asked? This is Alvin Monty. Uh, Alvin Monty is a Navajo silversmith, well known. He actually brought all of this in yesterday. Um, you know, a lot of the artists are having a hard time selling their work this year because um, there's a lot of reliance on the yearly shows that happen throughout the year and throughout this, the fall. And, uh, and Alvin hasn't been able to do some of the shows that he normally does. And so, lucky for you, we've got a lot of his inventory that would normally not be here by this time of year. Um, highly sought after artist. Um, this is just an introduction into his work. He definitely has some smaller pieces as well, as well and we'll go through these one by one. Um, but this is, this is just so incredible, I couldn't, couldn't not start with this piece. So, we're calling this number one, the Royal Beauty. The turquoise and coral royal beauty bracelet. Uh, the prices today, he has given me the prices and uh, we're gonna stick with these prices. And um, if you're interested in a piece, um, I guess we should go over how this works. I just got so excited about this piece. Um, we're gonna be showing a lot of jewelry today and we're gonna go through it one by one. And if you see something you'd like, um, feel free to leave a comment below and we'll set it aside for you. Um, I will do my best at, and move through a fairly quick pace. I do get sidetracked. I do get excited and tend to talk a little bit um, about the pieces. And so um, be patient with me, please. Um, I will let you know what the price is. Um, the, the, the profit from these um, is going directly to the artist. Uh, today we're featuring Alvin Monty. Um, if you're watching after the show, you can contact us on Facebook. You can find us at tskies.com. There's a contact form there. Or you can call us um, on, our, on our phone. Devin Edison is here on the phones today. 505-862-9443. If we miss you, please leave a message and we will get back to you. So welcome. Here we go. Okay, so I haven't seen all of these as well. I kind of poked around in it a little bit, but I'm just gonna pull them out one by one and I'll give them a number as we go and we'll see how this goes. <laughs> so here we go. Um, I've got a set of thick... You still gotta go over the price for the bracelet. Oh, we need the price on that, you ask. Is that what we need? Okay. Uh, the price on this bracelet is $32.50. $3,250. This is the uh, number one, the turquoise coral royal beauty bracelet. Hi, Marie. Hi, I, I, Devin got your message today about the, uh, the Navajo pearls. Um, we had them all taken, but I'm, we're, we're working with someone to get a couple more strung and uh, I, I'm going to find out on Monday if we can't get some strung for you and get those, get those out to you this week. So I just saw that message, Murray. Thanks for, thanks for reaching out. Um, hello everyone. I'm going to get started. We've got a lot to go through and uh, we only have one, one evening. I don't want to keep you here all night. So, I've got a couple, wow, these are so thick. Yes, he's a, he, Alvin's been, been a silversmith for a very long time, 40 plus years. Um, and he might be here. Hey, Alvin, are you here? Um, he said he was going to hop on and uh, maybe answer some questions and say hello. So, if you end up Jumping on Alvin, say, uh, uh, let, give us a wave. We'd love to hear from you. Um, 
I was talking to him yesterday just about some of his designs that I did point out, and uh, we, we realized that a lot of his piece pieces, um, obviously, if you're an artist, you, you pull from everything around you and, and things that you like, and, and we, we noticed that uh, he really likes stargazing, uh, looking into the cosmos, and um, if you kind of keep that in mind with some of these pieces, you can see... Um, obviously that Navajo silversmith, the Navajo influence, um, that traditional southwestern um, look and feel is, is solid, but there is, there is a little touch of contemporary um, geometric patterns and things that, that I feel that he was getting from, from his stargazing, and, and you'll see that in a couple, couple of the pieces coming up. So this piece is incredible. I'm gonna just say that about every piece. I was looking at the the pattern, and and now that I've talked to Alvin and and had that revelation about uh, stargazing and looking up at the sky, does that not look like a million stars in the sky? This this type of design, um, this chasing work, as we call it, um, it's a special kind of stamp called repoussé, which is a double-sided stamp where you're stamping from the back side and the front side at the same time, and it leaves this uh, three-dimensional embroidered um, stamp. But something that just hit me when I pulled this piece out was just the infinity of space. It's thick. I mean, that's got to be... 14 gauge or 12 gauge or something that's super thick you know I've got a scale right here we'll just pull that out oh and then look at this little detail I was just talking about the stars and look he's got some little stars in the end that totally makes sense <clears throat> okay um, we like to generally measure stuff in grams if you like to see something in a different weight, let me know. But generally, I, I almost rule of thumb. I like looking at pieces in grams. So if you could see that on the scale here, got kind of a weird angle. That's 143.8 grams. The light's kind of weird on that. There we go. 143.8 grams, super thick, heavy silver. Let's get a measurement on this for you. Like diamonds in the sky, shine bright like a diamond. We're looking at just over one and a half inches wide. There is a slight uh, synclastic um, bowing to it, very slight. Uh, Oh, we've, we've got a chance to look at his hallmark there. If you can see it, it's an A. You see the A, and then the A turns into an M for Monty. This is a large bracelet measuring almost seven inch to the cuff with a one and a fourth inch gap. If you've got uh, a large wrist in your life who has trouble finding large custom bracelets uh, here you go it's five ounces five ounces Susan five ounces of solid silver so look at this thing just I just feel like a toddler wearing this it's so big it can be opened up even more too so um, Great Christmas present. The piece is running uh, $1,250. And we're going to call this 2A. So I'm going to just... I've got so much jewelry, I don't even know how I'm going to do this. I'm going to just set it down right here on top of the bag with the price. And we're going to call that 2A. And I'm going to mark on it. 
two, A. So we have three of these cups, all very similar. Maybe they should, they're all priced around the same. Oh, the last one's a little, a little less. Number two, B. This is definitely wider. Can I get a quick measurement on that? It's almost two inches, probably two without that very slight bowing. I don't even know if this one's bowing that much. I think it might, it might just appear bowing to me because of the, uh, the indention of the repousse. Um, this will be a little smaller, still giant. This piece is also running uh, for $12.50. Again, super thick. I'll get the scale out again in a second. It's about six and three fourths with a one and a quarter inch gap. <clears throat> so we're looking at a size eight. Again, a giant wrist. This can't open up. If you have big wrists in your life, uh, this could be for you. Again, with the scale. Six ounces, so heavier than the last piece. Wow. Can you get that uh, shot, Diego, from the other camera? Can you see, can you even see how big that is? Jeez. <laughs> yeah, it's like Mandalorian armor. Huh. This is gonna be 2B. Let me just write B on the bag. There you go, you can switch back now, Diego. 2B. Keep these up here. And finally, how much was that one? That was also 1250. Okay. okay, Alvin Monty. 2C. This one's gonna fit me better. There we go. You can see that? It's a, a very similar design, but made for a wrist closer to my size. There we go. It looks like tall and narrow, but honestly, it's probably the same or close to the same height as the other one. Yep, we're looking at two inches, just a little bit, a little bit more than two inches wide. Um, priced at, or sorry, weighing uh, 4.45 ounces. And this piece is priced at 980. Hi Jan, are you there? We've got lots of lots of people missing you. Okay, 2C is 980. If you're calling in if you do see this later, just let me know 2C. And what was the size on it? What is the size? Size, size, size. We're looking at a five and three fourths with a one and a quarter inch gap. So we're looking at seven? a seven, six and a half to seven. Yep. Six and a half to seven. Beautiful stamp work. All right, and that's Alvin Monty's giant stamp work rep repousse cuffs. That is 2C. I don't know why I'm putting it away. Okay. Um, up next. Ooh. Look at that turquoise. Pilot Mountain. Oh, here we go. Wow. If you wanted to see some epic pieces, here you go. 
This is incredible finishing, incredible stone, incredible artist. This is Pilot Mountain Turquoise. On thick sterling silver by Navajo silversmith Alvin Monte. That is awesome. This piece uh, is running for twelve fifty as well. This will be number three. Um, Going to get some measurements on this piece. The stone in that beautiful hand cut, handmade bezel is just under one and a half, just over uh, one and three eighths by one inch. It's about one and one and an eighth wide. Again, thick, I'm gonna say this is like probably 14 gauge-ish silver. Uh, pull out our scale. Yeah. Wow, 4.475 ounces. You know, I was talking the other day that I like to share my collection, and I'm okay with selling it, but honestly, with pandemic and everything I, I've been investing in jewelry so whenever I see see pieces I know no matter what happens with inflation <laughs> the the price of the jewelry will it's almost as a hedge five and three-fourths with a one and one-fourth inch gap so again we're looking at a, around a seven Alvin does museum quality work, for sure. Yeah. Okay, well, that'll be number three. I'm gonna leave it there for just a second while I get the next piece. Three. Myself organized here. We've got a collection of. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a few of uh, Dina's pieces. Dina is also Navajo silversmith. Her last name is Platero. An interesting thing is, you know, as, I don't know if you know, but Platero means silver in Spanish. So appropriately, she is. A silversmith. Okay, we've got we've got quite a few of these very simple high polished pendants. Ooh. Got the spiny oyster. We're gonna call all of these uh, number four. Let me, let me fix the camera. Yes. Kathleen Layaway is available for our pieces. Um, any order or combination of pieces that uh, end up totaling $250 or more uh, will be eligible for Layaway. And uh, we require 25% down, and then we charge the remaining 25% uh, per month over the next three months until it's paid off. There is a restocking fee if you do pull out halfway through which is that initial 25% down payment. Okay. Uh, we've got quite a few of these. I'm gonna call this number four A. Um, and these are $60. We have spiny oyster A, orange spiny oyster. See, I've got a purple spiny oyster. We've got 
go. Also, sixty dollars. Love that one. On the chain, very simple, minimalist. It's harder to find the purple spiny oyster these day, days. We they've restricted the, um, the, not the farming, the the sourcing of it. This will be 4B, would be the purple spiny oyster. Purple sold. Purple sold, all right. Purple sold to Delina. Diego, would you mind writing Lena's name down on a yeah. card? And then whenever you're ready, I can hand this to you. Okay, we've got, we've got more to look at. Thank you, Thank you sir. 60, 60, 60, 60. Ooh, there's, some, there's a lot of pieces here coming up. We've got 4C, which is turquoise. This is also, everything is $60. There we go. 4C. Dina Platero. And that one's turquoise? Yep. That one is. It's on an 18 inch chain. Chain comes with the piece. So these are these are great deals, just their starting price. Uh, we've got a couple more pieces of turquoise. What did I say that one was 4C? This is 4 yep. so this is 4D. 4D. Again, these are all turquoise, all in an 18-inch chain. Uh, that looks... The, the turquoise looks like they're they're probably all from the, from like the Kingman area. Some kind of Arizona mine. Or E. Finally, we have 4F, $60. And it looks like 4E sold, I think. 4E, Vicky? 4F. Let's get a better look at that. And Vicky, is that right? 4E? 4E had that beautiful. Looks like there's a little bit of pirate in that matrix on 4E. We will set this aside for you, Vicky. Congratulations. And Deborah, my little bell's breaking, is going to take that first spiny oyster. So we've got Ooh, Vicky and Deborah. Vicky. And the spiny oyster. Uh, the orange spiny oyster, Deb. Yeah. Okay. Here is Vicky's. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for the extra set of hands. I'm by myself today. Well, we've got Diego on camera, and Diego is also multitasking. And then, Deborah, you're going to take the orange spiny oyster, which was 4A, for $60. Here you go, Diego. It's Deborah McLeod, is that right? Debbie Rowland. Oh, no, 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 that was uh, Debbie, Debbie McLeod. Yeah, Debbie Rowland was saying congratulations. So congratulations, everybody. We cruised through those. I'm gonna just leave these over here and we'll come back to them. Um, we're gonna move on to some more of Alvin's pieces. 
Alden uh, brought in quite a few bolo ties. Is there anyone out there who likes bolo ties? Jaren? Let me just get organized. I'm wearing one of the bolo ties right now, but I know uh, my shirt, I, it's, shirt was probably a bad choice. I'm sorry, everyone. Need to stick to those neutral tones. Okay. Here we go. These bolo ties are all going to be number five, starting with 5A, square, turquoise, a thick leather cord. Show off the pendant there. Alvin usually he, he got his stamp on there twice on each side. I don't know if you can see that. With the sterling silver bolo tips. Let me just zoom out. Let's get a better look at the whole piece. Number five. It's this beautiful turquoise bolo tie. I'm measuring. Is about one and a half inch in diameter. Uh, the pendant and the stone is about one inch. Uh, beautiful turquoise stone. This is going to be five A. Just set this over on the block. So I remember what five is. This uh, piece is going for two hundred and sixty-five dollars. Five A. Two hundred and sixty-five dollars. Merry Christmas to the gentleman or the lady in your life who loves a nice bolo tie. Uh oh, this one. Oh, I see there's a price on the back. Blue diamond, um, turquoise mine. Oh, I like the tips on this one. Here we go. Got quite a few of these to get through. This will be 5B. Nice oxidized. And again, coming back to that stargazing, it's not necessarily a theme, but definitely an influence on Alvin's work. He also is known a lot of times for like almost like that pictograph style with a beautiful blue diamond turquoise. I know it's greenish, but the mine is blue diamond. Simple sleek bolo tie with uh, Cones, silver cones with a nice finishing bead on the end of it. Men's bolo tie or women's. Women can wear bolo ties too. They're actually becoming more popular. $210 for this uh, blue diamond men's bolo tie. That'll be 2B. Two B is sold. Two B is sold. Oh, five. I'm sorry, five B. Five B. <laughs> five B is sold. The Jared Over Street. I, I knew you couldn't resist one of these bolos. It's a good deal. It's like you've got to collect all the bolo ties. I've got to have one from every artist. I feel like you're the same way. This one is going to go to Jaren. Five B. Congratulations, Jaren. 5B. Go, Diego. Thank you, sir. Appreciate the multitasking. Ooh, Laramar. I haven't seen this one yet. I don't have a Laramar bolo. Laramar and turquoise. Here we go. Laramar. Oh, it's hard to capture that color on the camera. Thick silver. Look at this silver. Look at that. And this will be 5C, correct? This will be 5C. Laramar Bolotai Navajo by Alvin Monte. Sided, flanked by 
a lovely turquoise stone, lovely silver work applique, sterling silver beads, hand saw work, this like southwest pattern. He hand saws each one of these lines. You can see that precision in his work. Larimar 5C men's bolo tie on leather cord. Uh, Alvin, you don't have a price on this one. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna match, hope he doesn't get upset with me, I'm gonna match that uh, first piece, 265. Because I'm not seeing a price on here. And I might be undercutting him a little bit, but I'm sure we'll work it out. 265. For the Laramar piece, ooh, probably should be priced around 300. But let me know if you're interested in that piece. That was 5C. Okay, moving on. This one looks like one of Dina's. You'll see the difference in style. Got that simple, simple minimalist style. With a beautiful green turquoise stone, also on leather. Um, let me see if she's got her hallmark on here. Oh, it's underneath the it's on the pendant. I can kind of see it when I when I lift up the, the pendant. It says Sterling. Beautiful Royston turquoise stone, I would say. Nice green, simple, minimalist design. Uh, this piece would be what, 5D? Is that what we're saying? Uh, yeah, 5D. 5D. Uh, this piece is going for one hundred and thirty-five dollars. One hundred thirty-five dollars for the Dina Platero Bolo Tie. Sorry, bear with me. How was your weekend so far? It's cold here. I hope you're staying warm and healthy. Prayers go out to all of our loved ones that are having, having issues with this virus. As you saw, Jan is on the feed and we're so glad that she's doing better and her daughter. Francesca. Okay, moving on. See, I know I undercut that first one. Uh, that 265 was probably too low on the Laramar, but I'll go with it and I'll deal with the ramifications. This is a cold in Indianapolis. This is a Lovely burnt orange spiny oyster bolo again with that super thick silver pendant surrounded by that silver bead applique and southwestern and saw work. This piece is going for 325. Uh, this is 5E. 5E Spiny Oyster Bolo. 5E for 325.
Ooh, I see a white buffalo coming up next. Pretty awesome. White buffalo. Men's bolo tie. Ooh, and a little, that's cool. I love the contrast right there with that orange. Is that sponge coral or, no, spiny oyster? Uh, men's bolo tie with white buffalo. Let me know if you want me to slow down or speed up. If we need to do some more measurements and stuff on these, I'm just trying to get through them. Two and a half inches. Uh, from the top of the saw work to the bottom of the spiny oyster. Uh, same price as the last, uh, $325 for this beautiful bolo tie. 5F, white buffalo. Spiny oyster bolo tie. 5F. Back over here. Got three more to get through. Got the same theme going on here. Oh, the next one's a little different. 5G. They're using a magnesite stone, wild horse. Brown, you can have a bolo for every outfit. This is a, again, on the super thick. Silver, magnesite, bolo tie. Lovely. Same price, uh, $325. That'll be five. What are we at, Diego? Uh, G? Yeah, 5G. 5G. Konnichiwa and Daisan. Okay. And that was 325 as well? 325. 5G. Magnesite. Bolo. This next piece is also magnesite. A little bit different of style. There we go. Got that textured more of that oxidized rustic look with handmade uh, wire work. Handmade, he does everything by hand actually. You know, it's, it's harder to find, harder and harder to find artists that are, that are making everything by hand, making his own flowers, his own leaves, wire work, it's all done by hand. Um, finish with the silver cones. This piece is selling for $2.95. $2.95 for 5H. Magnesite 5H. Ooh, we've got one more. One more Dina piece. Oh, this price is good. Den it says denim lapis, but it's like... It's really dark denim lapis. It even has the the little speck of pyrite in there. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Let's see if I can get it. Get that angle. We've got a lapis piece. Very simple, contemporary, minimalist style. Made by Dina Platero, Navajo Silversmith, $85. 85. Let's oh, don't forget the one I'm wearing. That's right. Denim Lapis. Dina Platero, bolo type for $85. That's a bargain. 
This will be five I? Yep. Getting up there. And I do have a piece around my neck, you're right. This was my favorite piece. I actually didn't look through them all, I just pulled one out. <laughs> but I think it is my favorite piece out of the batch. What is this one? Oh, of course. Pick that one. Uh, let me just let me just take it off. This turquoise and coral with a little maybe three millimeter turquoise stone up here on top, flanked by that beautiful red coral. This again is Alvin Monte, Navajo silversmith. Uh, for $385, Royston Turquoise. Alvin makes his own stamps, by the way. Um, there's a lot of stamps on the market that you can buy commercially made by manufacturers, but um, just going back and looking at the stamps that we've seen on a couple of the other pieces, um, here's one, the refusé and little star stamps and all of these. He makes his own stamps. So, I thought that was an interesting pack. Okay. What's next? Should we do another speed run? Some bargains? One, two, three. Should I have any more of these? Nope, oh, we got three of these. These are some simple, oh, they're different. $30, $30 bracelets. Number six, we've got one of these simple ladies stacker bracelets, stamp work. This one's gonna go quick, $30, small size. Thick round wire, hand stamped. We actually we, we can see her Dina's mark on this piece. We're looking at a a small five with a one and a quarter inch gap. So we're looking at six and a quarter. Sold. Sold to Ray on Facebook. Congratulations, Ray. Bloop. Going to raise. This is number six. Here you go, Diego. Thank you. His name is Ray Lutka. L U D K A. Um, we've got two more. Well, it's one more, but I have two of number six B, which is a simple high polish stacker bracelet. $30. Thirty stocking stuffer, five and a half with a one and one half inch gap. So you're looking at a, I mean that could be a seven. That could be, I mean if it's me, a little little loose, but you can squeeze it down. Probably anywhere from a six and a half to a seven. Simple stacker Navajo bracelet, thirty dollars. We've got two of those. It actually looks like the other ones is. Maybe a quarter inch smaller, so six and a half. And the crest show is taking that one. Congratulations. And April's taking the other one. <laughs> and April's taking the other one. Okay. So, crest show and April. It's kind of cool seeing the, the extreme here. We're going from this magnificent museum piece that probably took a month to these very um, approachable, price-wise, simple, contemporary 
um, deals. Okay, April and the Christian, congratulations. And the Christian wants a larger one. Okay, it's very slightly larger. That first one of the Christians. Okay. You can kind of see in there. Uh, I've got a couple more little pendants. Oh my gosh, how many of these are there? One, two. Sorry for the delay. Just trying to get my act together. Uh, we, we can call these number seven, but we don't have any number sixes left, so I'm going to just keep calling these number six. Here's a very simple uh, one stamp pendant. We've got two of these. One in blue with a little dragonfly stamp on it, and one in green. I'm going to call these number six. Uh, D and E, high shine, high polish, Navajo stamp work pendant with an 18 inch chain. It's hard to see, isn't it? Let me get my other hand out there. And so the green will be number six green. Yep. Uh, yes, the pressure. We can we can send it with the other bracelet. Um, if I did, you already pay for that. If, if I don't think they shipped that other that other bracelet yet, so I'll throw it in the box, and then you don't have to pay for shipping. And then we've got uh, the green one. We'll call uh, D, and the blue one we'll call E. Um, did I even mention the price yet? No. Okay, ready. Twenty five dollars. $25, these simple Navajo turquoise pendants. Got the dragonfly on the blue, on E, and a little arrowhead on the green. So those will be D and E, number six, D and E. Dragonfly one sold. Dragonfly is gone. Two ties. All right, Ty. Congratulations. Where is it? It's right here. We're gonna come up with a better system without a bunch of cords <laughs> in the path, huh? Yeah. Congratulations, Ty. We just Ty. keep it all down. So. We've got a couple more, and then I'm gonna go back to bigger pieces. Um, we've got uh, number seven. I've got three one there's th seven a oh, and these other two don't look anything like that but they're the same price seven a thirty dollars for this contemporary sterling silver pendant Navajo handmade by Dina Platero And we have Lapis, also $30. Lapis on an 18 inch chain. And 7C is also Lapis, this is more of a denim Lapis. There we go. Thirty dollars. So, if you're just tuning in, uh, we're showing off work by Dina Platero and Alvin Monte, uh, Navajo silversmiths in New Mexico. Uh, if you're watching this after the show and you see a piece you like, uh, please contact us. It could be still available, and. Uh, We'll be holding on to these pieces for a couple days, so stay tuned. 
or uh, just take a screen. Um, <laughs> just let us know if you see something you like. And put these pieces over here. Number seven. Okay. Let's get back to some. Like the bigger pieces. Who's this guy? This is going to be number eight. Ooh, I like the movement there. Number eight. This is a Dina Platero piece. Way to go, Dina. Bumblebee. Large Bumblebee. Jasper pendant. You can definitely see the inspiration. Look at those, look at those, those dangles down there. All sterling silver. That's gonna hang great. Super awesome. Now it looks like a lapis pendant sold. The lapis pendant. Lapis. Mary, congratulations on the lapis piece. Let's see lapis. There it is. So we had two lapis, didn't we? We have a, a denim lapis and then one I just called lapis. So. Okay. Cool. Get a measurement on this piece. It's about five and a half inches from the top of the bale to the to the bottom of that the silver tassels. Measuring about two and a half inches wide. Dina Platero, uh, 385. 385? 385. And it looks like um, Murray is claiming the spiral bracelet. Spiral pendant. pendant. Sold. Marie Tenario. You know, I thought you were Janice at first because Janice's middle name is Marie. <laughs> I was like, Janice. A uh, spiral pendant to Marie Tenario. And it looks like Barbara Thompson is going in for that bumblebee. Ooh. Congratulations, Barbara. Wow, that, that's, that's a cool piece. Please share this. You get a chance with us on our T Sky's inner circle. I don't know how to, how do I fold this to get in there. There we go. Let me just stick this in the camera while we're waiting. This is gonna go to Barbara Thompson. Thompson. Congratulations, Barbara. We will set this aside for you. Yeah that. That's cool. I'd love to see what you wear that with. If you have any purple, oh, purple and sp and that bumblebee, that yellow, just it just pop. Okay. What do I do next? Where do I start? Let's show off a couple of these um, simple bracelets. Um, this would be number nine. This is also Dina. Ooh, that's a nice stone. Simple turquoise. Shank cuff 
with silver rope wire. Stone measures, or I guess the center of the piece measures about one and an eighth or so. Cuff measures just over five. It is a small with a one inch gap. So we're looking at six and a quarter, six and an eighth, small wrist. Uh, this piece is going for 265. Kingman turquoise kind of looks like uh, Santa Rita. We ha I had a batch of Santa Rita that looked like that, but uh, there's some places in Kingman, some, some veins that look like that. So I'm calling this one Kingman. She wrote Kingman on it. This is Dina Potero. That is going to be number nine. Number ten. I agree, Brenda. We gotta get we gotta get through this COVID. You know, maybe we should just have a party, and we all just dress up nice and wear our jewelry, and do like a not a FaceTime. What's the other one? Like a a Google Hangout or a Zoom meeting or something, and. We can all cook some dinner and dress up nice and share our pictures of our jewelry and that'd be kind of cool. Maybe we should do something like that for the new year. If you're interested in doing something like that, that'd be kind of fun. Janice, Jess, everyone cook something. We can talk about our food. Just, I don't know, just something, you know? To, it's not like we can really get out. Um, Vicky, spiny oyster rings. I'll check for rings. I really, I'm looking at this stuff basically for the first time too. But, I don't know, if anyone's interested in a Zoom, let us know. <laughs> I think that'd be kind of fun. And we can wear jewelry and talk about the pieces that we have and... Cool, this is... This is Malachite, right? Uh, Malachite, that is correct. Beautiful shiny Malachite. We've been talking about doing something because uh, everyone's tired of being cramped up in the house. I'd really love to see some of the uh, some of your collections that that you have. Probably some of the pieces that I haven't seen. This is a about a one and a half inch wide. Simple three shank cuff again, Dina Platero. Uh, this is a little bit more 365 for this piece. Natural malachite. I don't like cutting malachite, it's toxic. We don't really cut much malachite in our shop, we don't really see it too often. Size and price on that one? Oh, size, yeah. size <laughs> and price. The price is 2865, like I said. This size. five and a quarter with a one inch gap. So we're looking again, this is a small six and a quarter. You can squeeze down a little bit to six, six, six to six and a quarter. Uh, six and a quarter. Ace. That'll be number 10. Right, we've got a 
quite a few pendants that I'll have to check out the artist name of these. I don't even know where to start with this. Okay. Silver Bear. Let me just, let me just dump them on the table. It's going to take a second. Got a Jackrabbit. A little Jackrabbit. Silver Bear. Silver Bear with turquoise. Small Silver Bear. A lizard, Cocapelli, and a heart. Someone is wondering if the you know, Malachite bracelet can be adjusted to give it an extra quarter inch cap. Yep, uh, it's Ace. Uh, yes, we, we, can, we can do that for you, or I can ask the artist when he comes back in. No problem. Fourth of an inch is no problem, but we can probably do about a half of an inch. Uh, much more than that, I would have to be a little more difficult. Okay, all of these we're going to say are number 11. And I'm going to go through these one by one. Here we go. Number one. Hand-stamped mom heart pendant. This is 11A. $70. I don't have any inlay bracelets, I don't think, right now, Amy. Um, here, in this set, I'm not quite there yet, though. This is my first time checking this out as well. Um, we've got our Coca Pelli. Sold to tank, uh, Texas Ranch Rocks. A Malachite bracelet. Three, five. I'm sorry, it's cheaper than that. 365. <laughs> I think I said 385. Texas Ranch Rocks is uh, Ace. Thank you, sir. Where was I? Um, Coca Pelli. Hand cut Coca Pelli pendant. So I've got Diego uh, writing stuff for us. I'll adjust it out for you just a little bit, Ace. There we go. Coca Pelli pendant on an 18 inch chain. Uh, same price as the heart. Um, Everyone hears your boots, Diego? Yeah, I'm wearing boots. <laughs> Every day. Uh, $70 for the Coca Pelli. Just say number 11 Coca Pelli if you like that, or number 11 Mom Heart or Heart. B. Also B. Worse. <laughs> Got quite a few of these. Um, the next is the Lizard. We got a Lizard. Got two Lizards actually. So I've got two of these. Uh, silver lizard pendant. Let me just zoom out just a touch. There we go. Hand stamp lizard. Uh, slightly less. Uh, these lizards are $65. Got two lizards. 11C. Lizard's not going back in his hole. Okay, we've got large jackrabbit with 14 karat gold overlay. That 14 karat gold is going to bring the price up a little bit. But it's really beautiful. Layering that can you see that color contrast? That 14 karat gold right in the middle on silver. Jackrabbit. God, that is nice. 
that is $160. And we have a very slightly smaller version with a much cheaper, much more approachable price point for $95. Got that same little jackrabbit, same 14 karat gold in the center, hand stamp Navajo. For $95? For $95. These pieces are really bread and butter. You know, some of these masterpieces that we're looking at. It takes months sometimes to make some of these pieces. And they don't necessarily sell super fast because they're big. But uh, these little pieces are cute. You can wear them every day. And they really help the artists. OK, next, bear with turquoise. Bear with turquoise. It's a large bear. Here we go. Hand stamped Navajo bear with turquoise stone. Simple pendant for $140. Super cute. This is look. This is like one of those pieces that's unique enough that you don't see it. It's not mass produced. That you give like your niece or somebody that ends up being their favorite pendant, and they always remember that auntie or grandma or mom or sister who got them got them their piece. We've got uh, three of these silver bears. Without the turquoise. Um, the, actually, I need to show you the other bears because the stamp pattern is a little bit different in each one. Makes me think he's not doing, or she's not doing the stamp pattern exactly the same. We've got a couple different patterns here. If, if bears just happen to be your favorite, like Christine Miller, then, uh, then you're in trouble. These bears are $95. And then I've got a little bear for $65. If you're interested in any of these, and to save us all the time, it takes me a second to pull them out. But if you're interested in any of them, if you want me to take them out of the bags, if you're seeing something that you want to take a closer look at, just let me know. And I will cater to that. Ooh, I like that one. I almost feel like I have to take these out. So we've got these little bears. Check this one out with the lines down the middle. Got that little bear. Got the more traditional stamp work bear with arrows. And then we've got this. It's almost like a Santa Domingo shell look to it. $65 for these little bears. Awesome. And those are all what we're considering number 11. So if you're looking back to this video and you see something you see, just let me know. And we've got a lot of jewelry to show, so I'm trying to get through it. Pelly's, some of these out right there. Okay. Got 
another set of pendants. More pendants, more pendants. Oh, these are pretty cool. These are, I like these. Silver bars, five of them. This will be number 12. Let's see if they're all the same. Oh, they're all different. Every single one is different. Oh, we sold a small bear. Sold the small bear? Which which one the did 11G you? 11G with um, lines. 11G with lines. Let me pull that out for you to make sure. I've got two of them. We've got this little bear with the lines. And this little bear with the lines. I'm assuming that you're meaning this piece. Is that right, Lena? This little bear with the lines? Ding, ding. Bear with lines. This is what I would think would be bear with lines. Yeah. If that's what you're looking for, uh, we've got it for you, and it's yours. And that little thing in the, the little stamp in the corner is a little bear paw. Bear claw. Okay, I'm gonna assume this one's yours. If uh, the one you wanted. If it's not, please don't hesitate to reach out. And let me know that I'm wrong. Yes. deal. $65. Okay. These are all priced a little bit different. We've got, these are cool. Uh, these are pretty hot right now con in contemporary jewelry. The little bar that hangs down. It's like a drop bar. Um, ladies wear it and it's just a little contemporary bar. But this has a twist to it. Navajo stamp work. Check that out. I need to get my ladies back in here so they can model for me. I'm just I just can't do justice to the way these look. These are cool. Solid silver bar stamp work. Uh, this is $95. Got a geometric stamp work pattern on this one. I've got a triangular design on this one. Here we go. Triangle stamp pattern, also $95. Let's get a measurement on, on this one. The first two are just about two inches with the bail, a little bit less, inch and three quarters. Uh, we've got two of them at 120. They seem to be just slightly longer. Got two different stamp patterns there. Very similar stamp pattern on this one. And then I've got one. Ooh, that's cool. That is definitely my favorite. Ooh, and that's the, that one's at 130. Got a geometric stamp work square drop for 130 by Alvin Monty. Cool. That would all be uh, 130 for that one? 130 for that last one. That'll be number 12. We'll look back at that in a minute. Let me run through some bracelets. We've got some good prices on some of these bracelets. I have not seen them myself yet. Sold. Want the last one? All right, Teresa, it's yours. Let me just pull that out for you. That's that was my favorite one. And twelve A for Deborah. Twelve A for Deborah. 
There's 12A. 95 for Deborah. Okay, here you go. And it's right. 12A. There's 12A for Deborah. And. Uh, because 12 the last one. Yep, 12E is Teresa. Should have been 12D. That was my bad. <laughs> I know it was E actually. There's was, there was, there was that many. Here you go, Teresa's. It's Teresa's, whatever it is. Oh, it's because we showed two of them at the same time. Okay, I've got. Where do I start with these? They're all priced slightly different. You get all my 120s in a pile. Something 95. Okay, here we go. These are simple bracelets by Dina. Just let me know if you want me to take them out of the bags. I just want to keep uh, keep the ball moving here. If you want me to take any of these out of bags, this will be number 13. We've got white buffalo, spiny oyster. Turquoise, some purple spiny oyster, Ooh, that purple one I love. and some more turquoise. These are all these bracelets are all priced at one hundred and twenty dollars. I'll take one out so we can get a better look. Dina Platero, one hundred twenty. One hundred twenty. Wow. I mean, I need to take them out of the bags because look at the difference. When you take it out, you just to see what it's all about. So $120. They all appear to be very similar in size. Which the turquoise one is sold. Got two turquoise pieces. Which turquoise piece did you did you want, Diane? We've got uh, we've got the darker turquoise and the lighter turquoise. Hmm, maybe they're not the same size. Let's get a size measurement on it. I will show the white buffalo turquoise right after this. So we've got, Diane has a claim to one of these. We've got two, the, the lighter one. Okay, the lighter one. Congratulations, Diane. I know, I, I'll open up and check out the sizes. Just let me know if you're interested in one. And then I'll open it up and check the size. We just have so many to go through that. Uh, Diane, here you go, Diego. Catch, ready? All right, hey, that's a better system. <laughs> that's Diane's bracelet. It depends on how heavy the bracelet is. Uh, we've got, let me just put this red spiny oyster on the camera while I get organized. Find that white buffalo. Let's see, Kelly wants to get a size for the purple one. The spiny oyster. And the spiny oyster sold. Spiny oyster sold. We're talking about this one here. Yep. And that would be Kathleen was first. Kathleen. Congratulations. That is a small. Okay. Get to it. Sold. Uh, Kathleen is first on that spiny oyster. It is a small, so it's like a six and a fourth ish. Ready for this one, Diego? All right. Let me pull out the other purple. Actually, let me get to the white buffalo first, and then I'll pull out that. I think there's a purple spiny oyster that I just had. Here is the white buffalo. We're looking at a. And again, a small five and a quarter with a one inch gap, small on this white buffalo. It say sold. Sold. White buffalo. Faith Mendez. Ready to catch? 
All right, we're getting good at this. And then someone was asking about the purple spiny oyster. I love that color so much. It's a super deep dark purple. Sorry, Trudy. Sorry, Umit. We had a rapid fire grabbing for that other spiny oyster, but we've got this purple. Again, this is a small purple spiny oyster for 120. Um, I've got a couple that are a little less expensive. <coughs> These pieces don't have um, soul, purple soul to Kelly. Kelly awesome. Webb. Let me get. Gonna be running out of sheets soon. I know. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw this up there just so we have something on the camera. This piece is going for. It doesn't have the rope wire border like we saw on this last set. You see that rope wire makes a difference. Ready, Diego? This one's Kelly's. I know. I, wait, I They're not. They're not really grouped by sizes. I'm gonna have to open them all up and measure them all to get their sizes. Uh, this is uh, some lapis. This is uh, seventy dollars. Seventy stocking stuffer bracelets is what we should call them. Uh, this is also a small. Five and a quarter with a one inch gap. Another lapis, but the stone is going the other direction. I like I like that that I like that a little better for some reason. Jenny Merrill will take a lapis. Jenny Merrill. Jenny, which one would you like? Would you like number one right here on your left, or would you like the number two on the bottom? Do, 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 do. So number one in my hand, number two, or I should say A in my hand and B uh, on the block. Both lapis, both the same size, both $70. Let me know, Jenny. Number two. Number two. Okay. That is the piece on the block right now. Number two. Seventy dollars, Jenny. Here you go. Thank you for your help. It's nice having an extra set of hands. <laughs> and I can't then, believe you're gonna do the show all by yourself. <laughs> Denim. You know what? I, I promised Alvin we'd do a show, and uh, we we are definitely behind. We're gonna have some catch up to do after the holidays. After the holidays, we may do some shows. Maybe just of us making jewelry. Lenny, ding, is that one for you? This this uh, denim lapis is that is that what I'm hearing? Denim lapis, I believe this is a small. They all they, they all feel like they're around the same size. Yep, they're all small, women's sizes. There's a denim lapis. Is that? Did you, are you taking this one, Lenny? Oh, no, sorry. She was just talking about the ding. It's ding time. I'm supposed to ding. <laughs> there. Okay. That is our lapis. This lapis, this denim lapis is also 70. It's also a small. And done that, done that, done that. We have ooh, one more that I missed earlier. It's a denim lapis uh, for 110 because it has the extra silversmithing work done to it. Uh, 110. Denim lapis 110. 
Oh, I do see one more. I take this one out. This one's uh, this one's gonna go. You ready, ladies oh, and gentlemen? <laughs> I've got a black onyx for sixty-five dollars. Sixty-five dollars. Carl says sold. Sold. Okay. Is that for the denim or for the black onyx? <laughs> Sold. I think that's the. Is that the black onyx? You're talking about, Carol? Uh, no. no. The. So yeah, it was the denim. The denim. Here you go. The denim piece. Is that right? The denim. Beauty with the rope wire. Nope, not that one either. Which piece were you looking at? Oh, it was a mistake. Oh, okay. Had your hand on the sold button. Okay. Maybe that's how you do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be ready. No worries. Sixty-five dollars for the black onyx uh, small uh, bracelet by uh, this one is Dina Dina Platero, Navajo silversmith. Okay. All of those bracelets were putting those in a batch. We call number twelve. <laughs> we'll just stick them all over here on the number 12 thing. I've got some more of uh, um, Alvin Monty's pieces. It's going to be another grab bag. Wow, did we do these already? Did we talk about that? I don't think we did. These are on 16 inch chains. These two turquoise pendants for $35. Did I not show these? Because they're sitting on my... I don't think... Yeah, I don't think we showed these two. I've got two of these pendants on 16-inch chain. $35. Turquoise. Hello, Kim. I'm sorry you missed everything. There's a lot... There's a lot to go back and see. $35 for these simple turquoise... Pendants. If you're interested in one, let me know. Stop me and I'll... Sold. Which one would you like? Is it Mazella? We've got our triangle or, or that kind of teardrop look. It's hard to understand me. I'm sorry. Oh, she sold both. Sorry, Kathleen. Mazella jumped on it and bought them both. <laughs> I need to go back to the... Can you hand me the other sheets you have on your desk? <laughs> if you still have them? Uh, oh, it's over here. Yep. There you go. It's both Mazella. Um, I need to speak a little louder. And Millicent would like to purchase a denim lapis. The denim lapis. Let's go back to that piece. Okay, I need a ding ding. We've got the denim lapis right here for 110. Is this the one you're talking about? The denim lapis. Thank you, Linda. I'm trying to keep up bells, people buying stuff, rapid fire messaging. <laughs> Gotta control the camera and talk louder. Big size silver cups. When are you doing the big silver cups? Well, we did them in the beginning, but I'll go back over them in just a minute. That might be a good intermission, I guess. Krisha Phillips for 
You said for 30. Are they both for 35 or for each? Uh, are we talking about the turquoise that was just on there? Those turquoise were $35 each. No, this one was the pendant that was 30 shown earlier. The denim lapis pendant that we had, I think it was a number 11. Um, I've got this denim lapis pendant for $30. That's what you're talking about. It's yours. $30. Just let me know. Pendant. The denim lapis bracelet. She's talked about it. Number 7C, then I'm like, I spend it. Okay, here it is. And who was that? <laughs> I'm sorry. This... Uh, let's see. Millicent. Murray. Myrtle. Okay. Here we go. Congratulations, Millicent. That is yours. A $30, $30 lapis pendant from a little while ago. Okay, let's go back over those bracelets. I think... <laughs> I think, I think we've got some new viewers in here, and I just want to check them out again. Starting with this guy. We're calling the Turquoise Coral Royal Beauty. Let's just get another, another zoom in shot of that. Here we go. Wow. This, this centerpiece, you can see it moves. It's connected by a chain. Let me... Focus this camera a little better. There we go. Alvin Monti is the artist, well known. Navajo silversmith. He's got museum quality work. Um, he's in a lot of the famous shows. Um, he unfortunately wasn't able to do as many shows this year because of COVID, so we're showing off some of his work here. Judy. You'd like to purchase this one. This one is thirty-two fifty. Is that okay with you? Royal. Okay, I'm gonna give you the ding. Ding ding ding. Sold. Wow. Can I just look at it a little bit longer? Uh, thirty-two fifty is the price, and it is sold to Judy Ann. She scooped it up. Show off more of that inside artwork. Wow, thirty-two fifty, Judy Ann. Um, this it does qualify for layaway. This is an epic museum piece. Like to know how what the size is on that one. Yes, I mean, I, I would see, I would put this on the mantle. Yes, three thousand two hundred fifty dollars. It does qualify for layaway. Five and a half. Oh, yeah, this piece fit me perfect. Uh, with a one in a an eighth inch gap, so. Six and five eighths. Uh, yes, that's a great question, Judy Ann. So uh, my name is Matthew James. A lot of people call me Shep. Um, I'm at Turquoise Skies. Uh, Tskies.com. Uh, you can contact us. Uh, you can leave the, of course, the message below. Uh, you can reach us here at our shop. Our phone number, do you mind switching the camera, Diego? No. Our, our shop number is 505-862-9443. Um, you can go to tsguys.com and fill out a contact form there or call us. Best way is to call us. Ding, ding. Judy Ann, grab that piece. And if you don't want it, Judy Ann, we've got Denise, Emma, is uh, right behind you and she claimed it as well so first come first sold Denise will take it if you do not take it uh, Judy Ann but uh, you were the first one Judy Ann to 
uh, let us know that you wanted it, and uh, we'd be happy to check you out. And Denise, I'm sorry, Judy Ann beat you to the punch, but um, if, they, if, if there's any issues with it or whatsoever, I'll let you know. But that is a one-of-a-kind piece, belongs in the museum. I would put it on my mantle, and we will set that aside for you. Congratulations, Judy Ann. I've got a couple other pieces to look at. Uh, this is Alvin Monte, Navajo silversmith, New Mexico. I'm just going to set this right here, Diego. Don't worry, yeah. I'm going to throw that piece. <laughs> Um, we've got soul number three. Ooh, it's like Kathleen jumped on number three right before I put it back up. So everybody's boom, here. boom. <laughs> yes, Judy Ann, there is layaway. Uh, the way layaway works is uh, we require twenty-five percent down, and then we uh, will space that out over over four months. And so go ahead and call that number. Uh, 505-862-9443 and uh, Devin Edison is on the line to take care of you. And Kathleen just jumped on number three right before I got back out to it because she knew it was going to get swooped up. Uh, this is a Pilot Mountain Turquoise, I believe. Is that Pilot Mountain? Uh, yes, that's what you said earlier. Yes, that's what it looks like. Pilot Mountain. Uh, 1250 is the price on this. And uh, swooped up by Kathleen. Just to give you the price again, we're looking at five and three fourths of the one and one fourth inch gap. It's like a, it's a size seven wrist. And congratulations, Kathleen. Can't wait. As you see, it's first come, first serve. These pieces are one of a kind. If you see something you like, you got to jump on it. Um, and we will set this aside for you, Kathleen. Let's go. Um, I've got a couple of the super thick Repousse cuffs, Alvin Monte. I'm so sorry, Denise. People are just jumping on it. They're jumping on you. Uh, check out that Repousse work. Again, Alvin is a stargazer. And each of these pieces, these first two are 1250. They are super large. Uh, they're going to fit size eight or nine inch wrist. We can adjust it for you. Quality stamp work. And then he's got another piece, slightly smaller, about a seven and a half uh, inch wrist. These are about two inches wide for nine something, 950? Yeah, not 980 for this piece. I think Judy. Judy didn't buy it? Sounds, looks like it, yeah. Ju Ju Judy Ann, it sounds like Judy Ann's canceling. Is that right, yet? I don't wanna, uh, I don't. She says she will pass since she won't be able to do it in four months. Okay, so Denise, if, you, if you're still here, Denise, Emma, uh, it's yours. Confirm the status of number one. Uh, Judy Ann is not going to do number one. And Denise is next in line. We want to give her a chance first because she was the next person to claim it. And then uh, we'll just need to confirm that with Denise. Yes, she says. Take it. Got it. Everyone's waiting in line. It's yours, Denise. Um, that's okay, Judy Ann. You jumped on it, and uh, it was just before we set the price. And uh, no problem. Uh, phone number, Denise. Uh, it's 505 862 And Devin Edison, also a Navajo silversmith, was, is on the line taking phone calls right now. So, number two, we had a couple of these epic giant cuffs. Um, 
Is anyone interested in seeing those bolo ties again? Because I can pull those back out. It seems like we're kind of on a roll. Um, I'll pull one out and see what happens. And then we'll go from there. Okay, we've got this Alvin Monte uh, men's bolo tie. Same artist as that epic cuff that we just saw. Royston. Uh, Coral. Uh, that one is going for uh, 385. Any more of those simple silver bracelets? I do. I've got a couple of those left. Um, no, I just look like I have rings today. Vicky, I'm sorry. Um, this is the, uh, the inventory that Alvin gave me. And uh, he and uh, Dina, I'm presenting this inventory for them. We've got a $70 denim lapis uh, small bracelet. I've got, no, oh, that's in the, the wrong, nope, that's a lapis, $70 lapis piece, dark lapis. Those are the only two uh, that I have that are smaller. Oh, I've got one more, a $65 black onyx bracelet. Price on the bolo again. The bolo we just showed, Jaren, is $385. And uh, let me show a couple more. Show the uh, Laramar one. Ooh, the Laramar. I totally messed up on the price. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it for that. I didn't have a price on there, and I just threw out a price. We've got the white buffalo. This one's cool. Got white buffalo. You mind switching the, the cam, uh, Diego? You can just leave it on the on number two. How much was this? What's this one? That one, it's on the bag. Three thousand. Two hundred fifty. Oh. Okay, we've got uh, Ray on YouTube. Who wants the black onyx bracelet? Wants the black onyx bracelet. It's yours, Ray. Congratulations. Sixty-five dollars uh, for Ray Lutka. I think we have a ticket from Ray, but you can make a new one if you want. It's here somewhere. <laughs> I'm gonna set it right over here. Or right, here you go. Okay, back to the bolo tie. This bolo tie is three twenty-five, as you can see there on the back. Any more orange spiny oysters? There's an orange spiny oyster right there on this bolo tie. Super thick, Alvin Monte style <laughs> silver. Look at that. Look how thick that is. Uh, shadow box around the uh, white buffalo. 325 for that piece. I should probably be wearing this one. It'd probably match my outfit a little better. Um, got this wild horse magnesite bolo handmade everything's handmade and the price on this is 295 I've got some more pendants if you want to see some pendants Oysters, uh, spiny oysters. I'm not seeing anything else. I've got a bunch of stamp cups, it looks like. And a couple of turquoise pendants. You know, let, let's just break open one of these bags and see what's... This is my first time checking this out, too. Uh, Alvin came by and he dropped off the jewelry and he was like, here you go. Good luck. <laughs> so, we're all in this together. These are cool. This is an Alvin Monte style I've seen before. I'm just going to put them all up there one by one. This is all going to be number 14. It's 
starting with, it's like I'm dealing cards over here. Starting with this beautiful piece. Have a great night, Lucretia. I'm, I know we're having a long show today. All right, Alvin Monty Pendant with turquoise hand stamp work, dragonflies and flowers, and turquoise, it's 140. Trying to find a good balance here and getting through this inventory, showing off all the good stuff. Got a couple pendants for 120. Got this Alvin Monty. Ooh, look at his stargazing. Can you see it now? <laughs> You've got almost a constellation there with a it's a Navajo corn maiden. A tiny little teardrop stone. Yeah. Little teardrop turquoise. We've got the road, it looks like, and the stars and space. Beautiful work. 120 for that piece. Just gonna show each one one by one. Just stop me if you see something you need me to go over a little bit more. I'll try to cater to everyone's needs as best I can. Just takes a little while to get it in and out of these bags. Ooh, we got arrows, sky of arrows. Go ahead and switch the camera. There we go. You can just leave it on this camera. There we go. We've got the arrows guy. This is also 120 hand stamp Navajo silversmith Alvin Yazi. I'm sorry, Alvin uh, Monty. Where am I at here? The hand. There you go. Is that in focus? Is, is everyone seeing that? Does that look okay to you? There we go. That's better. Swirls in the hands. Very thematic in his work. In the sky. He likes sky, stargazing. Alvin Monte is self taught. You may also find some. Uh, dogs. Alvin loves dogs, so every now and then you'll see him throwing a little stamp of a dog. The first pendant sold. Pendant number one sold. All right. Put the heart in the dragonfly. Congratulations, Deborah. Here we go. Uh, just a slightly smaller. The price came down quite a bit on this one. We've got the Holy Knight. We've got crosses in the sky, probably representing stars. Ooh, that's cool. I like that one. The three lines ascending into the heavens with the Kiva Step clouds. Starry Night, $95 for this one. This is number five, so A, B, C, D, E. This is 14 E. A little accent of turquoise to bring color to the piece down there in the corner. $95. Okay. And sold. Sold. Yeah, I thought that one was gonna go. Uh, sold to Trudy. Congratulations, no, Trudy. Oh, Trudy Barbara. E. A, B, C, D, E. That's number, yeah, that's the fifth one. Sold five. So then it was Barbara. So it was Barbara. I'm sorry, Trudy. She beat you to it. Barbara came in just, just a few seconds before you. Five milliseconds before. We've got some other ones in here, though. We've got some smaller pieces. Um, do you want to do that one for... Barbara Evans? Yep. Here we go. Coming down in price. $70. Hand stamp. Hearts and dragonflies. 
I'm sorry, Trudy. I'm going to make it up to you somehow. $70 for the dragonflies. Sold. To Brenda. Brenda. Good thing you printed extra sheets today. <laughs> yeah, I printed an extra 40 sheets and we needed them. Oh, we were just talking about dogs. Okay, here we go. Here. Congratulations. Thank you, Lori, for reminding me of the bell. Here we go. We've got some dog paws in there in the sky. Hand stamped dog paws. Like, did I mention that um, Monty makes his own stamps? And it looks like he made himself a little dog paw stamp. That's cool. $65 for this dog tag. So you know, you could put this on your dog's collar. <laughs> um, one of our artists in shop, Maria, the Seminole artist, he's going to start making some dog tags. And if you're interested in dog tags, for $65, he'll make a copper and turquoise, copper, turquoise, silver dog tag with your dog's name inscribed in it. So if you're interested in that, I don't have any with me, but. Uh, it's kind of a cool idea that he would wanted to do. Uh, Ty is going to buy the dog pendant. Congratulations, Ty. And Jessica, I'm sorry, Ty just beat you to it. There we go, $65. This is cool, little, it, it is sky gazing. He, t he actually pulled this piece out and talked to me about it for a minute and the geometric pattern uh, there. On this piece, sorry, Diego's uh, he's working. He's he's doing multi he's multitasking at the same time. So this is the sky. It's a native sky. And uh, it, it looks really abstract, but you'll see this in some old Na Navajo art. That kind of. Uh, Geometric patterns. This Alvin is saying this is one of the things that he sees when he was stargazing. So pretty cool. We've got the arrow pointing to the turquoise there. Maybe that's Earth. We are here. Pretty cool. Sixty-five dollars for this one as well. So I'm probably going a little long on that. I don't know why. Okay. Moving on, those are all number 14. What do we want to get into next? I can uh, get through these bracelets. We've got a collection of hand stamp cuffs here. Um, looks like they're all $95. $95 Navajo stamp work cuffs. Here we go. Ready? This will be number 15, starting with 15A. I'll get some measurements for you. There we go. Hand stamp Navajo cuff. They look like they're all approximately the same size. Let's find out what that size is. Shall we? We're looking at... About a five and a quarter with a one and a quarter inch gap. Yep. So about a medium. This will fit me perfectly. I can wear it. There we go. And just uh, focus the camera. There we go. Does Alvin Monty be small? Um, the bracelet. The big bracelet. It was a. It was like a medium. We get. We could bring it down a touch, but I don't. I really don't know if I can bring it down much more than that. Uh, well, I, I can talk. I can talk to Alvin. We'll, we'll connect you with him, and uh, you can talk about it. See what we can do. I don't. It'd be real hard to move it down much, much more than. Uh, Maybe a quarter of an inch, which would which would be in the small range. So, 
for yeah. turquoise bracelet? How much for turquoise bracelet, you ask? Great question. Glad you asked. We've got our number nine here. Do I have a price on number nine? I got this Kingman turquoise bracelet for $265. Oh, that's out of focus. There you go. Got that king embrace with the 265. And then we show we had a couple. I've got this small turquoise for 95. Small bracelet for $95. Ninety-five, and that's uh, number twelve. Number twelve turquoise. Back to our stamp work bracelets. Ooh, I like that pattern. Sixty-five dollars for these stamp work bracelets. Um, they measure what is that? About three fourths. Yep, three fourths wide bracelets. They are medium in size, about a six and a half. And that is 65. This is number 15B. Number 15B for the Kiva Step bracelet. We've got Stamp work C, $95 for 15C. Also looks to be that same size. It's a medium, six and a half inch bracelet. We've got D, also 65. We can, we can open this up a little bit. Hearts and, dragonflies. Hearts and dragonflies, Navajo stamp work bracelet. This is actually Dina's work, Dina Platero. Alvin's girlfriend. We've been together a little while. That's 15D. 15E. Stamp work bracelet. 15E. $95. Medium. A six and a half inch wrist. Can I switch 14 E cross with doggy paw print pendant? Actually, I'm sorry, uh, Barbara, the, the dog pendant sold. Ty swooped that up real quick as soon as we put it out. The heart and dragonfly. And then finally, G, Navajo stamp work, G. Same size. We had a comment for the Hearts and Dragonfly. Let's take a look at that one more time. Uh, Tina, were you interested in this piece? There you go. Hearts and Dragonflies. Oh, it's gone. Oh. There we go. 15A sold. 15A is going to Ray. This piece here. Congratulations, Ray. Where's my bell? There it is. Ding ding. Here you go. Sold 15E. Which one's 15E? A, B, C. The Hearts and Dragonflies is D. And 15E would be this one, Trudy. Is that right? 15E. Sold 
getting too many numbers and stuff going. Okay. Salt 15E. I think it was the E. And Trudy will buy the 14E. No, not that one, she says. Uh, A, B, C, D, E. Maybe, was it the hearts? This was F. And then this one is D with the dragonfly and hearts. So we've got D with the dragonfly and hearts and F with the hearts and fish pattern. Oops, there it goes. Just trying to keep them in order. Not hearts. Not hearts, okay, none of these hearts. Eugene likes the hearts. We've got back to this one. A, B, C, D, E. It was G. Yeah, G. This one is G. Maybe it's sold. How much for the hearts? $95. $95, Jean, Navajo, artist, uh, Dina Platero. And which one was 15D? <coughs> 15D <coughs> was A, B, C, D. This one, this one is D. Here. And in true thing, the one that she was looking at was geometric. Oh, it was geometric. Let's, I do have a geometric one. We've got B. B is geometric. We've got that Kiva step. B, C, D, and then uh, Linda, this one's D right here in the bag. That one is still around, I think, unless I missed something. These are all sterling silver, yes, sterling silver, stamp sterling on the back, as you can see on the back right here. I don't know if you can see that little stamp on the inside, sterling, and it has the artist name, uh, Navajo artist Dina Platero. And 15D is still available. 15D is still available, yep. And you see again the bear with the turquoise stone for 140. Yeah, I'll pull it out in just a minute. Okay, I'm going to move on from these cuffs. And did you find it? Uh, Raul, uh, so a little bit about turquoise skies. Um, you know what, Diego? I'm just going to mark these with A, B, C, D real fast because I'm going to put them away and then someone's going to ask yeah. me about. So we've got, uh, so turquoise skies um, is a jewelry store and a co-op for native artists here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, we have our live show which is what you're seeing right now. Um, and we are doing shows for artists. In this case, uh, for Alvin Monte, he is Navajo silversmith, and Dina Platero, she is also Navajo silversmith. And uh, because of COVID, we're very limited on our help, and we're doing our best to help all of these artists who did not get a chance to uh, get out and sell this year at the market. Um, we're helping them uh, show off some of their pieces. We take a small cut uh, to make sure we pay for our show and the artist takes a uh, majority of, of a 70 to 80 percent of a uh, 70 percent of uh, the sale. G. 10 percent is donated back to the co-op nonprofit uh, to help future artists buy tools and do things like that. And uh, oh, the other uh, 10, 15% or so is about the cost for everything that we're doing. So I'm putting these away. Trudy likes them. Um, How do I pay? Trudy, I'm sorry, what? Trudy is wondering if you can show them as a group. 
the bracelets. Um, I should move on here for a minute. I, I, you know what? I don't want to put them all out because I will forget which one's A and which one's B. I have them all in bags one at a time. If there's one thing spe specifically you're looking at, um, I will put. I'll leave them in bags and I'll put them out. How about that? Um, how do you pay, Gene? You ask. Um, you can either. Well, all we need is your email, and we can send you an invoice. Um, we just need to get your email somehow. You can contact us on Facebook. Um, you can go to our website at tskies.com. Uh, you can call us. Our phone number is 505-862-9443. We're just going to show off these bracelets real fast for Trudy so she can see them all. There's F. Starting with B. I just need to stay organized. B and C. It's going to be hard to see in the bags. I don't trust myself taking them all out of the bags at the same time. I will waste everybody's time trying to figure out what was what. Uh, D. Yeah, I think you might even see what you wanted, but let's see if she say something. E's with the hearts and the dragonflies. See, F is the hearts and the wavy lines. Let me zoom out a little bit more. And the last one, oh, that's D, has some of these. The one on top of B, so yeah, see. These are uh, $95 each. Okay, I'm, I'm putting them away. Truly claim to see. Claiming C, Trudy, congratulations. Here you go. C for Trudy. I'm just going to put this out there to give you something to look at. And Dan wants to know how much these bracelets are. These bracelets are $95. Right there on the tip of B. Top of B. <laughs> on the top of B, okay. Typo. Uh, 15E for Linda. Hearts and dragonflies. Hearts and dragonflies for you, Linda. Congratulations. Diego is writing as fast as he can. So thank you everyone for supporting Turquoise Skies and our local native artists in the Albuquerque, Santa Fe area. Uh, a lot of our artists were not able to do the shows that they normally get to do. Uh, right here, this one's Linda's. Um, and uh, we're, we're just trying to, trying to help through Christmas. We want to keep this, this industry alive. Um, we are a, a, a co-op um, workspace here in Albuquerque. Um, we have two businesses. We have the jewelry store, which is the founding company of Turquoise Skies. We sell contemporary jewelry online at tskies.com. And we also have a co-op workspace, uh, which is a nonprofit um, for artists to work. Um, they make jewelry for the jewelry store but they can also use the co-op workspace, the workshop, to make their own jewelry and our gallery is based on that. And so if you come in to our shop in Albuquerque, New Mexico, you can come meet the artists that are working. The artists that are working that day can put their own jewelry on the floor and you can work with them directly. And again, just like this, we take a small cut just to pay the light bill and that's how it works. How often do we do live sales? Uh, we, do, we try to do live sales every Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Um, we're not Friday, the best about staying. <laughs> Friday, not Wednesday. Uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, yeah. Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday at three thirty, and Thursday we have a late show at five thirty. And also, how do you claim an item? How do you claim an item? So if you see something on the show that you like, just feel free and comment below. Say sold, and we will set it aside for you. Many of these pieces are completely one of a kind, and so it's first come, first serve. However, the feed comes in on our end, on our end, is uh, the first person to claim it, um, and we'll set it aside for you. If we have more than one of a kind, I'll be sure to tell you. Um, yep, and my name is Matthew James here at Turquoise Skies. So, yeah, we've seen a lot of jewelry tonight, and thank you everyone for your patience. We've uh, I'm trying to show as much of Alvin's jewelry as possible um, for him this year and uh, 
The guest yesterday, she didn't know of anyone who does what you do for artists. Um, you can uh, find out more information about both of our jewelry store and our co-op. Um, you can go to tskies.com, um, go to the bout, and uh, it, it, we're going to do more videos and show who we are. We've got a YouTube channel. Please follow us on Facebook and YouTube. Click that little bell notification and um, ask Facebook. I think there's a button that you push on Facebook to be notified when we do our live shows. Um, tskiescoop.com is also a website for our nonprofit, which will explain what we do for artists. If you need more information there, um, Alvin, is Alvin here? I think he was going to come and, and comment and talk and answer questions if he had. I haven't it's, seen him. I, it's hard with COVID getting everyone in and out, and some artists don't want to be on camera, and we understand that. We'd like to invite any artist who wants to do their show. You're welcome to come to your show here and talk to everyone directly. I think everyone appreciates that, and uh, we'd love to see you. Just get a hold of us, and uh, we'd be happy to do that for you. We've had quite a few very well-known artists, um, such as Alvin, um, Swaya artists, uh, in here and do their shows. Uh, we had Jonathan McKinney in here today. He was uh, he used the co-op. It's a nonprofit, and he needed to use uh, our pulse welder. We've got some tools that people don't normally have access to at their homes. Um, and so he was able to come and use that for a couple of his pendants. And uh, he's a he's a very well-known artist. He's from Acoma Pueblo. Um, and we're, we're doing the best we can with COVID. We've got a couple people down. Um, I'm not usually uh, the one who hosts these shows. Um, we've got Janice Tenario from Santa Domingo Pueblo. She's a great host. We'd love to have her back. Uh, she's just recovering from COVID. And we wish her the best. We've got Jessica Ruth our lapidary artist. Uh, she's here hosting the shows. We've got Devin Edison. He's on the phones. Uh, he's, he hosts. We've got a, a group of, of more people that host our shows. Um, but we're limiting interaction and people in and out of the door because of the, uh, of the pandemic right now. So, all right, that's an overview. Um, so hope we got everyone caught up. If you see something you like, leave a comment below and we'll uh, set it aside for you. Um, yeah, what would we like to see? We've kind of gone through just about everything. I've got one more bag of pendants, it looks like, uh, from Alvin uh, Monty um, that we haven't seen. Um, if we want to go back over bolo ties, I can go back over um, some of the other things. Anyone, any requests? I'm going to show off this bolo tie one more time. This is that square bolo tie. Uh, square men's bolo tie. It looks like number eight turquoise. I don't think it is, but it kind of looks like it. Did we have any earrings today? Um, we didn't have any earrings. Nope. I'm just, this bag is as new to me as it is to you. And, uh, I'm just going through it. This bolo tie is an Albamonte piece for 265. Let's get those pendants. Like we're getting requests for the pendants. <laughs> Nobody bought this one? I'm just coming back to it. This little guy? No. This little turquoise pendant? It's only $25. This is uh, number six. It's green turquoise with an uh, arrowhead. That's a pretty good deal. Okay, let's get to Alvin Monty's. It's got some larger pendants. Deal. The last bag. Okay, this is the last one for everyone. Here we go. Let me just do my poker thing. Separate them by price. I'm going to start high and work my way down. 265 it is. Ooh, it's because of that turquoise. Yeah. Expensive stone. Okay, here we go. Sold. <laughs> uh, sold, I'm, I'm assuming the $25 uh, pendant. Uh, Vicky, the little green turquoise uh, Navajo stamp by... Um, Arrowhead, yep, number six sold. Uh, Vicky, I'm sorry, Pat. Uh, Vicky got it right before you did. But let's go. Uh, let's move on to the Alvin Monty pendants. 
what did I do with the bag for this thing? There it is. Uh, this is the priciest, and I'm going to work my way down. This is a bear pendant, uh, hand stamp. He sees the bears in the sky. Here we go. Uh, the price of this piece is very much in this stone. This is a rare spiderweb kingman stone. Uh, it's 265 for this pendant, much larger than the ones that we've been seeing uh, before. I'll get out my trusty measuring tape, and we're looking at uh, two and a half inches from the bale to the bottom, maybe two and uh, a little, little shorter than that. We could, we could do two and a quarter, actually. Somewhere between two and a quarter and two and uh, three eighths with the bale. It's on thick silver. You can see how thick that is. Uh, it's got some bear claws and some arrows uh, with that beautiful, natural, high quality spider whip. Kingman turquoise. 265. And we're starting this at, this is number 16A. 185 for this. Again, you're gonna see some of those uh, some of those themes that Alvin's into. This is the the corn maiden, and this is in the sky, of course, because he's a sky gazer. We've got this beautiful little green turquoise stone here. This is 185 for this piece. Uh, it is two and a quarter long, uh, 185, the sky gazer. You get that theme in, in, Al, in Alan's jewelry. Looking into the universe, looking out into the universe, I guess. Two, B, so that's B. Uh, 185 for C, which is a very similar bear as that first one, but looks like it's two and a quarter as well, just like the second one. This is C with the, it's got the dog prints. He throws in his dog prints every now and then. There we go, 185 for that piece. Uh, the turquoise is blue diamond. Got another dog themed pendant. Here we go. 185. What kind of turquoise. I don't have a name for the turquoise. Persian turquoise it says written on the bag. From Persia. 185. Stamp work. Dog tag pendant. Or it could just be a dog tag. I need to get my dog a... I don't know why my dog doesn't have a... I got a new puppy this... this fall. Her name is Ellie Mae. So that is... D? We've got another uh, King Min stone. For 165. A, B, C, D. This will be E. And get it out of the bag. Here we go. Corn maiden. Corn maiden. Sky pendant. Hand stamp Navajo Alvin Monte. For 165. That'll be E. One sixty five again. No stone. Geometric stamp work pendant. It's a great men's pendant. Dog tag style. 
Now I'll go to stamp work, 165. A, B, C, D, E, F. That, so that would be F. Every piece is unique. That's why I gotta take every single one out of the bag to show you. Very simple, this is very classic Navajo looking. Deborah, this is, uh, I haven't shown these yet. There might have been one similar to it, a different size. But these are, uh, these are, I haven't, I haven't been into this bag yet. This is uh, 145 for this Navajo stamp work. Okay, then. 16 E sold. 16 E sold. Let me just figure out which one that is. So we've got A, B, C, D, E. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that one right there. Jaren, congratulations. You bought the Corn Maiden. Kingman Turquoise Corn Maiden piece. So we just have to remember that E is no longer in there. Jaren Overstreet. There we go. And our final piece of the night. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. It's a simple geometric dog tag. This is $85. $85 for the last piece, the last one. Deborah, your pendant is the um, dragonflies with butterflies on it. Okay. Deborah, do you, you want to go grab Deborah McLeod's uh, yeah. pendant? She wants us to take a look at it. That's it for the evening. I'm pretty worn out. What time is it? It's almost six. <laughs> almost six o'clock. Well, it's just about six. We're a few minutes away. This one was uh, one minute away. Six o'clock. Happy six o'clock. There you go. That one's awesome, Deborah. That one is your piece. Okay, I'm going to go. I need to write on these bags before I forget the letters of this last set. Oh, can you give this one back to Deborah? And Jean would like to see the one you just showed before this one. The last one showed for $85, this one. Jean? Is that the one you were wanting to see? Oops. How much is that one? $85. So A, B, C. Kathleen would like to see the small rabbit and turquoise bear again. Small rabbit and turquoise. Okay, I'll find it for you. So is it 16H? Janice did a six hour show one time. Ace would like 16A. 16A to Ace. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, that's a good one. There you go, Ace. Congratulations. Where are those animals? There you are. 
Okay, we're looking at, where do we want little bears? The small rabbit and the turquoise bear. Small rabbit and turquoise bear. Lizards, there's the big bear. There's the small rabbit, and there's the turquoise bear. Starting with the turquoise bear. I'm just grateful to have uh, Devin and Diego here helping me out. Because here we are, turquoise bear. Beautiful. How much is this bear? This little guy. Turquoise bear is 140. And then the small jackrabbit has 14 karat gold overlay. And uh, small rabbit, 14 karat gold is 95. There you go. You mind pressing the camera button? Thank you. There you go. And Lori would like to see the large one too. And the large one? The large ra rabbit? Yeah. And the lizard, and I believe, was lizard. 65, correct? The lizard was 65. I will find that large rabbit. Do you still have any denim lapis? Denim lapis? I've I got. Do you call it a bracelet and a pendant thingy? I've got a denim lapis bracelet for 110. Hmm. Which one do you want in a bracelet or. No pendants? I don't think I have any pendants left. Got some turquoise. Mm. And then the large rabbit. No, I think the then and black was actually sold. There's the sold. Are you are you which one would you like, Kathleen? I'm sorry, I don't have a system in place now. Uh would you like them both? <laughs> uh would you like the small? Rabbit or sold large rabbit if available. Lori will take the large rabbit if that's not uh, okay. And uh, yeah, Kathleen's taking the small rabbit. Okay, so large rabbit for Lori. Congratulations, and small rabbit for Kathleen. And Ace would like to see our his pendant. And Ace would like to see his pendant. That's a great pendant, Ace. Here we go. This one is Lori. And then I'll get you. Uh, yep. You got time. <laughs> I'll get Kathleen's pendant. Put that one away. Here you go, Ace. Ooh, it's the turquoise that sells it, really. That, that stone. Oh, you know Ernie. Uh, Ernie owns SunWest Silver here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and he's the turquoise king. And he's selling that stone for like thirty dollars a carat or something like that. So I don't know if Alvin got that there, but I, I've been down in his turquoise vault. It's pretty cool, and that's it's a beautiful stone. So there you go. And then this one's Kathleen's. Uh, rabbit right here. Okay. Cool bunnies. That 14 carat. That one is Kathleen's and this one is Ace's again. Yep. Yep. Uh, we had lizards. Lizards up please. Thank you. Uh, let me find my lizards. I've got two of them and they are the same stamp pattern it looks like. Um, as you can see I will open it up. Lizards. How much are the lizards? Lizards are sixty-five dollars. Oh, lost him. There we go. 
He jumped off the card. <laughs> there you go. Lizard pendant. $65 for the lizard pendant. Gene is wondering how long we hold. Um, we will honor these. Uh, we usually honor our prices for 24 hours. Um, we're going to hold these for um, probably until the next week or so. I think I'm going to see Alvin on, on Wednesday and give him his pieces back. If we don't have claims by Wednesday, uh, then they'll go back to Alvin. And if I don't have them in my shop, I, I have a hard time. Uh, I, I won't know if it, he, he's... Because sometimes, if if he doesn't, if they don't get sales, you're here at a place like this. This is the the first stop would be a market. You know, go sell himself at the market. They're not able to do the markets right now, so we're basically the first stop. If he doesn't sell these pieces or she sell these pieces, usually they'd go uh, to other galleries and see if they can't um, wholesale, and then you go down the chain of galleries. Whoever's going to give a decent price, and hopefully if um, uh, yes, Ace, you you got that 16A bear pendant. That one is yours. Uh, we just thought you asked to see it again, so that's why I put it back out there. Um, so yeah, this this is basically the first stop now. Um, our show <laughs> for artists who want to sell and get. A retail price for their pieces and if not then they'll just go they'll have to wholesale it and someone will buy the whole batch and put it in the gallery and mark it up probably more than we're selling here but they won't pay the artist that much um, so you'll see a lot of these pieces in in other galleries downtown Santa Fe downtown Albuquerque and um, but, you know they'll they'll give artists 30 percent retail something like that um, and then they'll mark it up probably higher than you're seeing today like these prices are great um, like the, I'm surprised this one didn't sell sixty dollars for this turquoise pendant um, it's 4d um, you know this is gonna go in the shop they're selling it for what 60 yeah they'll probably maybe I bet they'd sell it for eighty dollars so they'll mark it up even more than that but they'll give him 20 bucks for it. It's, it's kind of a rip. There's some good shops out there. Don't get me wrong. There's there, there's some there's some good rights. Uh, Indian Arts. Uh, we've got Rio Grande downtown Albuquerque. There's some there's quite a few places on the plaza um, that treat the artists well, and they'll go there first. 4D sold. That's what I get for putting it out there. Good job, guys. Here we go. It's Carl K. Um, and so thank you for supporting the artist here. Um, we're, we're giving the artists two to three times fair pay on the pieces and it's actually kind of unheard of. Uh, we're, we're getting some slack for it because we're paying too much. Um, but you know, I, I, we, we do good with our jewelry store. Um, Please support our jewelry store, tskies.com. Uh, we've got a lot of pieces that are contemporary, um, more minimalistic uh, artists that work here make that jewelry. Um, but these unique one-of-a-kind pieces um, that you're seeing here are um, are not on the website. They don't sell. Sometimes we post them on Instagram for the artists. But uh, you can come into the gallery and, and meet the artists and buy directly from them. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to call it a night. Um, do you have any more questions about anything? Is there anything else you'd absolutely love to see? Thank you, Diego and, De and Devin from Jaren and everybody out there. Thank you for your help this evening, gentlemen. Um, yep, you're this, welcome.
<laughs> this show is a dance, and we are shorthanded, and uh, we hope to keep bringing you some shows. I should be back on Tuesday at 3.30 Mountain Standard Time. That's 2.30 Pacific, uh, 5.30 Eastern. Um, hope to see you there. Um, these invoices for these pieces should start going out tonight. Devin and I will probably hang out for a little bit, but if not, we'll, we'll, we'll get them out by Monday. I'll come in tomorrow. I'll just come in tomorrow and get the rest of them out if, if not. So if you if you bought from us before, hey, look, there's Alvin right there. There he is. <laughs> hey, Alvin. At the very end. Yeah. Give one last. Thank you, Alvin, for your pieces. We've got lots of compliments on the day. Sold quite a few pieces. Um, Everyone say hi to Alvin Monty. Just uh, message there in the in the feed. This is his show, and uh, Dina uh, Platero as well. So thank you for watching. Um, Alvin will catch up this week, and everybody will get will get a uh, we'll get your invoices out as soon as we can. If we don't have your email, if you could please call us and leave a message on the phone or send us a message over Facebook or go to tskies.com and go to the contact page and, and uh, give, us your, uh, give us your email and that's the best way for us to invoice you. All we have to do is put in the numbers and click send and it goes to your inbox and you can click pay and we don't take credit cards over the phone unless we have to. Um, it's more secure that way. It's better for everybody and uh, yeah. So thank you again. Have a great night. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Uh, we'll see you Tuesday. Bye.